Hey, what's up? I'm Ruby, and let's check out today's news. A gravitational field so intense that no matter or radiation can escape. Also known as a black hole. Up until now, we've only seen what people think they look like in movie scenes and pictures. But now, astronomers have snapped an actual photo of one. In a galaxy far, far away, 53 million light years away actually, lives a humongous black hole that's six and a half billion times heavier than our sun. Hold on to your space helmet, peeps. You're about to see the very first image captured of a spacey phenomenon. It was taken by the Event Horizon Telescope, thanks to this scientist and seven other telescopes around the globe. Scientists have been working on this moment for two years. So what does it mean? In a nutshell, this breakthrough simply tells us black holes exist. Here's what we know about them. They sometimes happen when a giant star gets to the end of its life and then explodes before collapsing in on itself. It results in a huge amount of mass being concentrated in a very small area with a gravitational pull that's so strong nothing can escape it, not even light. While we've seen the effect black holes have on nearby stars and galaxies, we've never actually seen one. We've seen tons of Hollywood movies showing what a black hole could look like. People from planet Earth used social media to show their disappointment. Some said the image was too blurry. I've got to say, considering this monster lives so far away, it's a good picky. Well, it's official. May 18th is the date of our next federal election. Our PM Scott Morrison paid an early visit to the Governor General this morning and 10 minutes later, the date was locked in. Also, here's a fun fact for you. Both the PM and the opposition leader Bill Shorten will be celebrating their birthdays during the election campaign. Mr Shorten's turning 52 and the very next day, Mr Morrison turns 51. How ethical is that T-shirt you're wearing? There's a new report out that wants to let you know. The Ethical Fashion Report Card gives big fashion brands a rating from A plus to F based on things like how the people who make the clothes are paid and treated and the brand's environmental impact. Bonds, Adidas and Zara were outstanding students this year, all getting A's. But Wish, Lowe's and Shopo, they're all in the naughty corner with big fat Fs. If you want to find out more about those scores, you can head to this website. A guy in Darwin set himself a very ambitious backyard project to build a fully functioning hovercraft. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nah, it's just a pretty amazing homemade hovercraft. Oh, it's extremely fun knowing that something I've built from completely from scratch, including the propellers, works. James is a pilot, and it took him about 11 months to build this pretty specky creation. About when I was 12, I wanted to build this hovercraft called a Pegasus I found on the internet. It was just a round plywood disc with a lawnmower engine. Now, he's old enough to make his dream a reality. Technically, it's a boat, but unlike most of the boats you've encountered, this one can fly. Well, it can glide along above the water, which is still pretty cool if you ask me. It's believed to be the fastest hover wing ever built. But James is just chuffed he got it off the ground. For our next segment, we are spreading our social butterfly wings and making friends. This is Ellie the koala, and she's just celebrated her first birthday with a couple of friends she's made here at the zoo. Her birthday present was a bouquet of freshly picked native flowers and a whole lot of cuddles. If you think she's cute now, check out what she looked like when she was a baby. Oh, my heart. Sometimes we choose the pet we want, and sometimes the universe chooses for us. When a firefighter rescued this poor little puppy trapped under a pile of rocks, he didn't know he was about to make a new best friend. Fast forward a couple of weeks, and no one's come forward to claim the doggo, so Bryant, the firefighter, has decided to keep him. <laughs> And when it comes to goalkeeping, the crossbar is your best friend. Except for when it isn't. This insanely lucky penalty at an under-17s match in Mexico had the commentators flabbergasted. <laughs> and the goalie pretty disappointed. And that's the show for today, guys. But if you do head to that ethical fashion website, 
Look up your favourite brands and let me know what you find. You might be surprised. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.